Amer is situated about 10 km away from Jaipur on Jaipur New Delhi road. It was the capital of old Dundad state of Jaipur and was governed by Kachhava rulers. The town was originally named Ambikeshwar and was later abridged to Amer. Amer Fort was built in year 1558. Amer Fort complex mainly comprises Jaleb Chowk, Singh Pole, Diwane Aam, Diwane Khas, Ganesh Pole, Yash Mandir, Sukh Mandir, Suhag Mandir, Shila Devi Temple, Baradari, Bhul Bhulaiya, and Janana Deodi. During Jaipur tour, one can experience the practical approach of Indian Vastu, architectural excellence, and beautiful stone carving work accomplished manually at Amer Fort around four centuries back. Amer Fort Jaipur is now enlisted as World Heritage Site by UNESCO in June 2013. Mavtha Lake Mavtha is an abbreviated form of the word Mahavata. From the huge Vat Vraksh or Banyan trees which grew on the edges of the lake once a time. Mainly the rainwater collects in the lake flowing down from the nearby hills. The Dil Aram Bagh is situated on its northern end. The Kesar Kyari or Saffron Flower Beds Garden is in its middle. The lake was the main source of water from the palace. It was drawn up by drought animals through the water lifting system located in the southeastern portion of the palace. Suraj Pool or Sun Gate at Amir Fort Jaipur was the gate of exclusive or restricted entry into Amir Fort proper. It was called so because it directly faced the east direction from which the sun rises. Royal cavalcades and dignitaries entered the palace through this gate. The palace guards duty posts were located in the gate. Diwane Aam or Hall of Public Audience at Amir Fort Jaipur patterned after similar halls in Mughal palaces. Diwane Aam was the court where the Raja gave audience to his subjects and met his officials. Festivities on certain special occasions like the celebrations following a victory in battle, the Shehra, the birthday of Raja, etc. were held here. The building was constructed on the orders of Mirja Raja Jai Singh in red sandstone and marble masonry. Beautifully ornamented in carved patterns of elephant head and veins, the details are a charming confluence of the decorative features found in the Mughal and Rajput styles of architecture. The distinctively constructed roof is supported by two rows of columns. The outer ones in coupled pairs are of red sandstone and the inner ones of cream marble. Maharaja Savai Ram Singh II converted the rear portion of the hall into a billiard room. Ganesh Pole or the Ganesh Gate at Amir Fort Jaipur provides access to the inner and private parts of the palace. Covered with frescoes, it was constructed on the orders of Mirja Raja Jai Singh. Lord Ganesh is the deity who, it is believed, removes obstructions likely to come in the way of human beings in their everyday life. His likeness is therefore traditionally painted or placed over the main entry into a building. Ganesh Pole or the Ganesh Gate of Amir Fort Jaipur is one of the most beautiful gates of Amir Fort. Suhag Mandir is situated over the Ganesh Pole at Amir Fort Jaipur. It was used as a chamber by the royal ladies to witness through lattice screens the state functions held below in the Diwane Aam. Diwane Khas or Hall of Private Audience is the most attractive part of Amir Fort Jaipur. It was constructed in 1623. 
during the reign period of Mirza Raja Jai Singh and took 6 years in completion. It is for the reason also called Jai Mandir and because of the beautiful mirror glass work in it, Sheesh Mahal or the Glass Palace. The Raja met his special guests like envoys from other rulers here. The upper part of Diwane Khas is known as Jas Mandir or Yash Mandir and is spell binding in the intricate floral designs with glass in them. Glass used in Sheesh Mahal was imported from Belgium in 1623. Amir Fort Tunnel is one of the major attraction at Amir Fort Jaipur. Tunnels are to be found quite commonly in the palaces and forts of the medieval period. They were used to conceal movement or to allow of escape when during a siege the defenders were being pushed hard. Lying on the western side of the palace, the Amir Fort Tunnel connects it to the Jagad Fort. It is subterraneous till a point near the Rang Mahal. Thereafter, it runs roofless on the surface up to Jagad. The tunnel is accessible from the Mansingh Palace, Janani Deodi and Divane Khas.